thought of having this start to make it a beast team. You'd obviously get yourself on the description below, get yourself to use 7 buy, get yourself some cheap, reliable coins, and don't forget to use King with a cheeky 6% off. Right, let's get into the video. Yo guys, what's going on? King Flipper here and welcome to another Evolutions video. We actually have another good Evolutions and I tell you what, there's some stack, stacks, uh, stackers, whatever you want to call them. Oh, oh my god, yes. Uh, we have the uh, Patrick Who. Um, weird name, don't get me wrong. They're calling it Patrick Who. Uh, it says, like the description says, uh, do like rice and take over... The least glamorous position on the pitch, the six. Become uncelebrated, uncelebrated by adding a CDM. The CDM position, it isn't that. There's a few that it's not really aimed at CDMs. That's all I'm going to say. Some of the upgrades are more for centre-backs and everything like that. But yeah, you can probably play them at CDM. But yeah, you've got to imagine agility and balance is the main thing. So yeah. Uh, on the screen for the requirements is max of 86. I have picked a few 86. Right, There is a couple of 86s you can get in here. Not too many, but you can get away with that. And their upgrades can be really good. Um, can't be CDM. Uh... Only allowed two positions. Uh, pace, max of 73. Bit of a shame. Uh, shooting, max of 59. Max, 81 passing and nine play styles. So, yes. What do you get for the upgrades? So, you get CDM as a new position. It's okay for some of the cards, but not all of them. You get play. You get a block play style. It's not a plus, but that's good because some that means it should be able to go into more Evos, which it has. Uh, overall, plus four. Pace plus 5, passing plus 10, uh, physicality plus 2, dribbling plus 8, and stamina plus 6. No defending upgrade on this one, but some of them don't really need defending upgrades. Um, with, the, with, with the other upgrades, they are actually uh, some decent ones, which is good to see. Um, you can see there that Stones is there. I've not put Stones, at, obviously, on this main screen. I've not gone near Stones because his Winter Wildcard is better than this SBC, this Evolution, so just bear that in mind. So, let's get into the Prem. I've got two options. So, option number one is my cheap version, as you can see. It's Lissandro Martinez. I think this is actually the first Evolution he's able to go into. And I will tell you now, he definitely can play as a DM. 100% with this Evolution upgrade can definitely play as a DM. Uh, has long ball, slide tackle, and bruiser as the uh, has his um, play styles already. Uh, with the upgrade, becomes an 88 rated centre back. Can play CDM as well. With block, obviously, the, is his um, upgrade. Uh, 78 pace, 59 shot, 88 passing, 87 dribbling, 85 defence, 86 physicality. 1 million percent this card is going to be very good in the midfield with his upgrades as well <laughs> in games holy surprise is still apparently cheap i don't think i believe the price of what foot gg saying i'm expecting him to be a lot more uh, 82 acceleration 75 sprint speed nothing wrong with that shooting stats of course are poo 86 vision 85 uh, crossing free kick accuracy stinks 93 short and long passing excuse you 87 curve Mm -hmm. It's already smelling midfielder. 85 agility, 90 balance. Perfect. 93 reactions, 89 ball control, 84 dribbling, and 95 composure. DM. Mm. I mean, I'm looking at this card and thinking, might have to do this myself. 85 interception, 75 head and accuracy, 86 defense awareness, 87 stand tackle with 84 slide tackle. Mm. Medium high as well, don't forget. This, this, this. This is smelling DM all over it. At 87 jumping, 89 stamina, 82 strength, 93 aggression. Uh, um, yeah, according to Foot GG, he's still min price. Wait, I say min price. He's still apparently 3k. I don't believe that. I don't even believe that whatsoever. Uh, because this card looks absolutely broken. And I am very tempted to do myself as a DM. Um, with him being 5 foot 10. I perfect. It's a perfect card as a DM. He's because he, 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 he's always been too small to play as a centre back in this game. I say that, but women cards are mad. So yeah, but yeah, one hundred percent 
probably up there with one of the best cards to go into this evolution, which is an absolute dub. Then we get into the expensive option for number two. The expensive option is a Team of the Week card. We all love these Team of the Weeks, especially as we go into Evos because they have dynamics. It is Romero. Um, this card, I think, actually becomes better than his Thunderstruck card. Um, in some ways, yes. In some ways, no. It's a bit of a weird one. It depends on what you what tickles your fancy. He has the same pace, anyhow. Uh, he becomes an 88 rated center back with uh, 78 pace, 48 shot, 71 passing, 76 dribbling, 86 defense, 88 physicality. So, yeah. Um, the upgrade is like 80 acceleration, 77 sprint speed, decent. 90 short passing, 76 long passing, decent. I mean, you can play him in midfield in the DM position, 77 agility, 75 balance. He's more of a centre-back, but it's entirely up to you. But this is, as I said, it's an expensive card. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a bit of a weird one, any 96 reactions, though. 78 ball control, 70 driven, 94 composure. Cracking stats. Again, I, I reasonably be more for a centre back than a DM in my in my opinion. So, um, obviously his defensive stats have not changed. 85 interceptions, 84 head and accuracy, 87 defence, 86 stand and 85 slide tackle. 94 jumping, 83 stamina, 87 strength, 95 aggression. It, it is one of them, isn't it? Uh, long ball, intercept, slide tackle, bruiser and obviously block is his traits. But like, if you compare his Thunderstruck card, his Thunderstruck card has four more shooting. No one's interested in it. Does have five less passing, uh, four less dribbling. So no, his thun sorry, his Thunderstruck card has four more passing, five less, four more. I get it right eventually. Four more shooting, five less passing, seven, four less dribbling, but has four more defense. That we'll get there. We get there. Yes. Uh, but it does have five less stamina. It doesn't show it on the card, but yeah. I do think this Team of the Week upgrade is actually better with the Patrick who uh, to go in it. So yeah, you can do this twice as well, guys, and it's free. So that's actually pretty mad. So there's my two options for the Prem. Uh, we got one option for Link. Ah, so let's get into that. My French League option is kind of saucy because I still have this card and I actually have him tradable. Trailblazers Dante now looks... Uh, is he broken? I mean, he wasn't a bad card anyhow, um, but now can go with the upgrade, can go up to a 90 rated centre back. Uh, he does have anticipate plus, which is a dub. Um, becomes 75 pace, 54 shot, 82 passing, 78 dribbling, 85 defence, 89 physicality. So yeah, uh, in game stats, he's def you cannot play him as a DM. With 49 agility, you cannot play him as a DM. That's all I'm saying. Uh, 75 acceleration and sprint speed. 78 vision, 94 short passing and long passing is actually unbelievable. If he had agility, this card would be broken as a DM. Uh, 49 agility, unfortunately. 72 balance, not bad. 90 reactions, 92 ball control, 74 dribbling, 95 composure. Mm, lovely. Uh, obviously, his defensive stats in change, 85 interceptions, 84 head and, head and accuracy, 87 defense, 85 stand tackle, and 82 slide tackle. 84 jumping, 80 stamina. That's another... A mm, little bit of a letdown that I wouldn't play him as a DM anyhow. 95 strength and 84 aggression. Uh, his play styles obviously anticipate plus. He already had bruiser and aerial. Comes with block as well. Up there with the best options. Uh, he's actually one of the highest rated as well. So 90 rated is the highest you can get with just this single upgrade. So yeah. I'm very tempted to put him into that. Uh, obviously he's got a dynamic as well. Because I already have his card. I could sell him. I know I've already made money on him, but I'm tempted just to throw him into the upgrade just because that card, it looks like a team of the season card. And he's got Anticipate Plus. I smell a bit of sauciness there. It's a shaman on his agility, so yeah. There's my option for the Ligue 1, the French League. Um, my two options for the Serie A are pretty similar, so let's get into that. So option number one uh, for the Italian League is the cheap option. It's Bastoni. Uh, Bastoni has an 85 rated centre-back card. Uh, normal one. Ping pass, long ball, and jockey. Here's his options. With the evolution upgrade, it does become... This is the highest you can get with a normal card because there is no 86s that go into this uh, evolution that are not... that are, Unless they're specials. Just let you know that. So, anti-9 rated is the highest you can get. So, Bastoni, that's one of the reasons why I picked him. Um, 89 rated, so about 78 pace, 35 shot, 82 passing, 81 dribbling, 86 defensive physicality. The card actually looks really good. Looks like a really good centre-back now. Um, obviously, we block as well 
it's, it's split, 73 acceleration, 82 sprint speed, not a fan of that. 79 vision, decent, 80 crossing, 88 short passing, 94 long passing, he's very good, curve 60. Oof. Agility and balance, 64, 63, not great at all, but 96 reactions, we'll take that. 84 ball control, 81 dribbling, and 93 composure. Again, cracking stats for a centre back. Uh, 87 interceptions, 83 head and accuracy, 87 defence awareness and stand tackle. With 83 slide, obviously that doesn't change, but it's still very good. Um, his physicality, though, 88 jumping, 89 stamina. Don't need to worry about his stamina running out as a centre back. 85 strength and aggression. Quality looking centre back card for your Italian league. That is the cheap alternative. Uh, you're not going to be playing him as a, a CDM at all at all. Uh, so that's my cheap alternative for uh, centre backs but if you want a dynamic let's get into that. So obviously the fright this card this card defries team of the week obviously goes into this um again you will not want to be playing this card as a centre back at all uh, as a CDM apologies at all not one. Um actually the fry doesn't even have a dynamic. I didn't even realize it's an it is a team of the week but doesn't have a dynamic. So yeah, it becomes an 89 right centre back again. Uh, 75 pace, 44 shots, 78 passing, 81 dribbling, 87 defence and 85 physicality. So his, his defence was already quite high as it is. So the upgrade is pretty decent. Uh, his play styles are long ball pass, intercept, aerial and then gets block. 77 acceleration, 73 sprint speed. Nothing wrong with that. 85 vision. Mm. 91 short passing, 86 long passing. Very good with 55 curve. Not the greatest. As I said, for a CDM, 72 agility, 69 balance is a no-no. Uh, 97 reactions though 84 ball control 78 dribbling and 99 composure yes you heard me right 99 composure card you can see why this card isn't cheap um, 90 interceptions 84 head and accuracy 87 defense awareness 88 stand and 85 slide tackle nothing wrong with that just whack a shadow on him happy days uh, 92 jumping 84 stamina 85 strength 84 aggression cracking stats even physicality cracking stats as a centre-back card. So there are my two options for the Italian League. Um, both pretty similar. One's a lot more expensive than the other, but that doesn't surprise me because one of them's a team of the week. But you might have him untradeable. A highly day, but yeah, it is what it is. So yeah, my two options for the Serie A. Now we get into the stackers. Let's get into that Bundesliga. As you can see on the screen, you need to calm down. I, I, I do spend quite a bit of time looking at cards and stuff like that, see if there's some stacks or anything like that. This Danilo card popped up and I was like, excuse you? Yes. Right, <laughs> we'll get into this. Um, technical and slide tackle is what he already has. With the So the evolutions you have to put him into, you put him into Patrick who, who first, uh, which gives him that DM position. And my God, this is one of the best looking DMs I've ever seen. His pace is a little bit of a letdown, but we'll talk about it in a second. So he goes into Patrick Who, then goes into Pep's Legacy, then goes into Like a Rock. So it is three evolutions you need to put him into. But once you've done Like a Rock, he fully goes to an 87 rated left back, which he's not a left back. 100%, 1 million thousand percent, one of the best DMs I've seen. Set CDM, links for days, obviously Brazilian Bundesliga. Um, has the uh, incisive ball plus bruiser slide tackle technical tiki taka and block yeah um, four star five star medium medium I know a lot of people don't like medium medium but with a DM card this looks broken um, 79 pace I said not the quickest but the split is better than what I like uh, 63 shot 88 passing 93 dribbling 83 defense and 81 physicality right doesn't sound that great, but then you get to his in-game stats. Uh, 84 acceleration, 74 sprint speed. Again, I like it that way. Shooting stats we'll just ignore. 77 vision, of course not the greatest. 93 crossing. He's going to play as a DM. Doesn't matter. 95 short passing, 90 long passing, 83 curve. Cracking stats for CDM. Then we get into his dribbling stats. 99 agility and balance. Mmm. 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 Um, this is what I was saying about this stack. 99 agility and balance. Okie dokie. 90 reactions, 91 ball control, 92 dribbling, and 91 composure. Chipapi Magneño. Chipapi Magneño. Absolutely broken. Defending stats, 86 interceptions. His head and accuracy is the only thing that does actually let him down. Uh, the rest of it, 83 defense awareness, 85 stand tackle, and 87 slide tackle. Like... This is probably one of the best DMs you will definitely see for a long time. 
it's the best DM you can get in the Bundesliga. Jesus. Uh, 83 jumping, 91 stamina. Again, great for a DM. 74 strength. Tad bit of a letdown. 83 aggression. I mean, I was looking through cards. And when I saw this Danilo, this stack, I was like, I, obviously I looked through different stacks and I saw this Danilo, I was like, yeah, yo, that can't be right. Oh, it can be. Oh, it can be. So yes, Danilo is probably the best card, in my opinion, that goes into this. Obviously, it's a stack, but the with the <laughs> with them upgrades, it looks absolutely unbelievable as a DM. So yeah, Bundesliga option. You have fun with that if you're planning on doing that. We get into the La Liga where we have more stacks. So we got two players again that stack in the La Liga because there's no others that go into it that look any good on their own. We're starting off with Ar Aritis, I think it's pronounced, uh, Elastondo. He can play right back and centre back, that's why he can stack. Uh, long ball and jockey uh, with the evolution. So we talk about the evolution upgrades. So first of all, he goes into keep up. Okie dokie. Then he goes into crossing crusader. Okie dokie. And then he goes into Patrick Who. Who are you? Who, 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 who? So yeah, with that upgrade, becomes a 90-rated centre-back. You're not playing him as a DM, that's all I'm saying. Um, Two-star, three-star, low-high. Jockey plus, uh, long ball, pass, or whatever it's called. Um, cross, not interested. Uh, first touch and block. Um, gets 76 pace. He's not the he's not the quickest, but still, with the rest of his defensive stats, you'll see why. Forty-one shot, seventy-eight passing, seventy-three dribbling, eighty-seven defense, eighty-nine physicality. Again, doesn't sound that great, but there is some. If you look in the in-game stats, there's uh, some saucy stats. Seventy-two acceleration, seventy-nine sprint speed. Again, you're gonna have to probably whack a shadow on him. It would actually make his card still broken. Crossing. 95, you're not going to be doing that as a centre-back. Uh, 97 short passing, 78 long passing, 73 curve. Mm. Don't forget, with the Jockey Plus as well, it makes his card looking good. Uh, 69 agility, 67 balance. Not bad for a centre-back. 99 reactions. Mm. You heard me right. 99 reactions. 92 ball control and 92 composure. I mean, I smell centre-back stats all day long. His dribbling's terrible. It's 57. Of course, it's going to be... He's not made to do that type of stuff. But with Jockey Plus, it doesn't matter anyhow. So, yeah. 89 interceptions. 87 head and accuracy. 88 defence awareness. 86 stand tackle. 85 slide tackle. Superb defending stats. And his physicality stats are even better. 87 jumping. 90 stamina. 86 strength. And, of course, to top it off, 97 aggression. Mmm. Mmm. Some of these stat cards are looking kind of saucy. So yes, yeah, that Alistando. Again, another cheap alternative for you guys. If you want to do some stacking and surprise a few people when they see that card and you want to cry. So again, this is why I do this. I go and look through cards that are usable and that stack into these ones. And yeah, I mean, that's crazy. But we've got another one that can go into a stack. So stack number two, please, for the La Liga. As you can see, Diego Rico can play left back. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. As you can tell. With the left back option, which is really weird. He can play only left back and left wing back. Has whip, pass, and block. He already has block, which is a shame. Um, he can go into quite a few options. So first option, you, go, you put him into Patrick Who. Who are you? <laughs> Crossing Crusader, then Pep's Legacy. So once you've done completed Pep's Legacy, becomes an 89 rated. This is another card that's a DM. I would 100% go CDM with this card because he doesn't have a centre back option. He's high medium as well, so it's going to be a bit of a weird one if you guys want to do this. It's not this card. Card doesn't look as good as Alessandro, but still has some cracking stats. Um, obviously, incisive pay, uh, pass, uh, first touch, um, and ticky tacker added on. 84 pace. That's another reason why I picked it. Uh, 61 shooting, 92 passing. Yeah, you heard me right. 86 dribbling, 81 defense, 82 physicality. Mm, mm, mm. Kind of saucy still. Uh, 83 acceleration, 85 sprint speed. Great for a DM. Uh, his shooting stats are a bit of a weird one. You ain't going to do it, but yeah. Uh, 87 vision, 99 crossing. Why not? 94 free kick accuracy for you guys who love free kicks. 94 short passing. 83 long passing. A little bit of a letdown, but does have 99 curve. Of course, 99 curve. You've got to include that one. 
His agility is 78. It is a little bit of a letdown. 78 agility is a little bit let down. That's the only thing. 90 balance, though. 91 reactions, 90 ball control, 85 dribbling, and 86 composure. Again, cracking the stats there for the uh, CDM. Just agility it is a little bit of a letdown. 85 interceptions, 72 head and accuracy, 81 defense awareness, 83 stand tackle, 79 slide tackle. Again, mm, definitely not a center back option, but CDM can be usable. The only issue is, is 85 jumping, 79 stamina is a little bit of a letdown if you're going to play him. Quite like if you're going to play him for the whole game. 83 strength and 80 aggression. Nothing wrong with that though. Uh, yeah. So the only the only issues with this card is agility and stamina. Other than that, as a DM, 89 rated. Pfft. High medium. I know some people don't like that, but you know some people do. Three star, four star as well. So he's got four star weak foot. That's actually pretty decent as well. So yeah. And um, so they're my two stackers for the La Liga. Alessandro definitely is better than Rico, but some people. I thought I'd give you two options again. It's another one of them ones that's out of nowhere and it looks absolutely cracking, um, especially with 99 curve, because why not? Uh, and 99 crossing, it's kind of mad still. If he had a bit more pace, he'd be an unbelievable uh, winger, left back or right back, whatever you want to tickle your fancy. So yeah, there's my two options for that. Let's get into the three options for the rest of the world and none of them are stacks. So that's one thing you guys might like. So option number one is Bright, Millie Bright. The only issue is she's very expensive. She is an informed. She's an 86 rated informed. Does have bruiser uh, with the upgrade. Again, 90 rated. So her and Dante are the only two that go from 86 to 90. There's no others that are 86, I don't think. Um, 75 pace, 51 shot, 80 passing, 68 dribbling, 87 defense, 92 physicality. Um, so yeah, with the, the play style she has... She, she has quite a few. She's, she's got the Bruiser Plus, Power Header, Long Ball, Intercept, Anticipate, Aerial, and Now Block. Well then, that's quite good. Uh, the only issue is her pace split is awful. 68 Acceleration, 81 Sprint Speed. Ugh. Um, 66 Vision. Ugh. 97 Short Passing, 99 Long Passing is very good though for a center back. This is not gonna be a DM. Uh, 59 Curve, because she does have 40 Agility and 43 Balance. Don't think you can play that card in C in centre back position. That's the issue. Uh, in CDM position, apologies. She's five ten, just about can get away with playing her as a centre back. Uh, ninety eight reactions though, with ninety nine composure. Hmm. Well then, that's an interesting stats. Sixty nine ball control and dribbling. Well, hey. Uh, yeah. Uh, defending stats obviously haven't changed. Eight one inception. Ninety head and accuracy. Don't get how five foot ten. Uh, Ninety one defense awareness. Uh, Eighty eight stand tackle. Seventy nine slide. Seventy nine slide. I mean, stand tackle is definitely more important than slide, but seventy nine is a bit low. Um, when I said head and accuracy, not, that doesn't matter about jumping. It's eighty nine jumping, so she still has a lot of jumping considering she's five ten. Eighty seven stamina. Ninety five strength and ninety one aggression. Then. That is interesting. That is very interesting. Um, yeah, it's it's one of these weird cards. This bright, but obviously, if I would, I wouldn't suggest buying her. But if you end up end up getting her out of the team of the week pack, or you already have her on tradable, because most people don't throw in eighty sixes all the time, she's definitely a good looking card. She's a cracking looking card. Obviously, vision is a bit of an issue. Agility and balance is a bit of an issue. Slide tackle is a smaller issue. They're the only issues I have with that card. Other than that, the card... Oh, and acceleration. Forgot. Uh, acceleration is a bit stinky. So, yeah. Other than that, playstyles are unbelievable. Stats are unbelievable. Uh, you're going to have to let me know about the comments and number that one. But, yeah. Uh, let's get into option number two, which is another inform. Inform Otamendi can go into this. Uh, he's 84 inform. Could just bear in mind because I think he does have another one. I'm not sure. Actually, no, he only has one in form. Who does it that has that? Uh, becomes an 88 rated centre back with 75 pace, 59 shots, 77 passing, 69 dribbling, 85 defence, and 90 physicality. Not a CDM. Don't don't even attempt. It's another one of these cards that's definitely not a CDM. It's definitely a centre back upgrade. Um, play styles: uh, power header, now uh, jockey, intercept, slide tackle, bruiser, aerial, and now block. So quite a good few um, play styles as well. Um, 74 acceleration, 76 sprint speed, uh, fine. 75 vision is much better than a certain somebody we've just seen. Um, 89 short passing, 86 long passing, they're great, they're great stats for centre-back. 68 agility and balance is nothing to, it's, it's nothing wrong with that as the centre-back. 95 reactions though with 93 composure. We like that as a centre-back. Uh, 75 ball control, 60 dribbling. I mean, 
ball control is not bad. Um, 86 interceptions, 81 head accuracy, 86 defensive when a stand tackle, and 82 slide tackle. Obviously, they don't change because it's not an upgrade. But physicality-wise, at 95 jumping, 93 stamina, uh, 87 strength, and 94 aggression. Cracking stats, again, for a centre-back. It's a shame. If he had a bit more agility and balance, uh, you can play him as a DM if you want to, but I would not suggest it. Um, if he had more agility and balance, this would be a cracking card as a DM for Otamendi. So, yeah. Um, that's the second option for the rest of the world in form Otamendi. Um, and my last option is a normal gold card. So, a couple of options why I've picked this card is, again, it's an 85 rated. Starts off an 85, so it goes up to the 89, which is a max rating. Uh, Catherine Hendrik, 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 I almost said that wrong. Uh, Catherine Hendrik uh, has Jockey Plus. Uh, ping pass, long ball, press proven block and anticipate already. So, she already has block, which is a shame. Uh, this card with an evolution upgrade though with the Patrick who does become as I said an 89 rated you technically can play as a DM uh, but we'll talk about that in a second uh, 77 pace 39 shot 80 passing 81 dribbling 86 defense 79 physicality so definitely the upgrades that you need to play her as a, 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 a DM definitely definitely can play as a DM or a center back it's just your option She's not the quickest. 76 acceleration, 78 sprint speed. Uh, vision 62, not the greatest. Uh, 96 short passing though, 89 long passing with 82 curve. Good defending stats there. So this is the main reason why I said you can technically play her as a DM. She does actually have 86 agility. 69 balance though. Ugh. 69 balance is not the greatest. Uh, so just bear that in mind. 97 reactions. That's good. 88 ball control, 74 dribbling, 81 composure. So the rest of the stats are not bad. They're not bad at all. I think it's more of a centre back than anything else, or it's one of these cards that you guys are going to do, get her to 89 and throw into an SBC. I know people do that as well. Uh, defending stats obviously haven't changed. 86 interceptions, 84 head and accuracy, 89 defence awareness, 85 stand and slide tackle. Nothing wrong with them. 86 jumping, 84 stamina, 73 strength and 84 aggression. Again, them type of stats are not bad for a CDM. The pro I, I, it's one of them weird ones, isn't it? Um, the rest of the world doesn't have... I, I didn't go through all of the rest of the world for stacks because I'd be there absolutely forever. That that would be... I'd be literally there forever trying to sort them out. So there, there is some other cards, obviously, that are there that you can go into. What what height is she? She's 5'8", so... Uh, she's one of them cards that I'd probably say is more of a DM position. She can play right back as well, don't... You're not going to do that, are you? Um, but yeah, they're my options for this new uh, Patrick Who um, objectives. Um, I, uh, evolution, sorry. Martinez, I'd probably say, is the best that goes into just Patrick Who evolutions. Um, that Danilo and Alessandro are uh, oof, oof, a naughty. That's all I'm going to say with the stacks. Uh, Trailblazer Dante, if you've got him, is another cracking looking card as well that goes into just uh, Patrick Koo. But yeah, comments below. Let me know what you think about this, guys. Uh, hopefully, I did save you some time. Hopefully, I saved you some money. Of course, feel free to drop the thumbs up. It does, of course, help the, the video and the channel. I do spend quite a while trying to go through these. Um, I do enjoy chatting waffle to you guys about these ones, and I appreciate you guys for watching the whole of the video. Comments below. Let me know what you think um, about your options. Hopefully, um, you guys enjoy these type of stuff. If you want to see more stuff like that, feel free to hit that subscribe button with the notification on uh, to keep up to date as soon as I upload anything to do with EAFC. Other than that, you guys take it easy. Thank you very much for watching, and obviously, peace.